in, in the in the ring here next we've got five dash two uh, this is a wide awake kingpin dirty south uh, that kingpin sow happens to be No Huddle's mother, uh, and uh, and Jim's seen a, a few a few a few good pigs this spring that happen to have No Huddle uh, No Huddle mamas and and. Uh, uh, and, and I, I think, you know, that, that sow, people don't realize, uh, she was reserve granted our state fair, um, and she got beat by a black bear that was a very, very special animal that we happened to raise as well, too. Um, but she uh, she is is an impressive of an animal, as you'll find up in her sow lot. She's in the front pen, and, um, you know, if I had a front pasture up there, we'd throw her in there. Uh, and, and there's a reason that these no-huddle daughters are, are producing. I know we're talking about a male pig in the ring here, and we won't go off too much on that, but uh like we've talked about the wide awakes uh they their, their maturity pattern is maybe a little more immature than than the pedigree would dictate or see but my governors uh, I'm, I'm way good with it and i'm way good with this pig here knowing his mom how she was how those things have fed um i just think this thing's got so much upside and potential when you talk skull uh you talk a looseness of athleticism and just just general build and, and just a big loose hind leg i think a really really neat prospect in the five dash two yeah he's uh, he's got look he's got elevation he's got extension and some things that maybe don't get talked about all the time but it's all still important stuff i mean we can go one direction for a while and obviously you got to have good ones of all types and kinds because everybody likes to feed them just a little different that one is uh, that one's elevation is really good looks like uh, again if uh, if he's paced at the right pace he could sure accommodate a a heavyweight type of look with that kind of stoutness of skull and that kind of length of cannon bone and then he's he's boxered his length of body but he's not short bodied everything balances fits he's got a great big huge top he's got a big thick square kind of a stifle a big athletic kind of a hind leg Again, he's not showing off much out here. He's a little uncomfortable on the surface, but man, that one there with the right stick on it, the right pace, a little, a little bit of a suntan, and the right feeding program. That one's going to be uh, one you can get pretty creative with. A lot of fun with that one. That uh, is 5-2 male.